Good morning everyone and it's me Ab again and welcome back to my channel. Today is Thursday and it's actually 8.30 in the morning. I'm running late but it's okay I'm just gonna do my spiel here and uh, tonight we are planning to uh, go to an event which is called Destination Inc at Miss Chinatown located at Chinatown MRT to do some spoken word poetry acoustic and uh, to be honest I'm really not sure what's gonna happen tonight so why don't you go with me and let's check it out. Hi Joseph. We're gonna be on my vlog. Vlog your face. <laughs> this is my driver. He's very busy now. Packing for your packing my things. Hello, it's me again. It's our lunch break, and uh, we almost finished most of the packing. I'm with Connie. She's also a Filipina. Oh. And she's my yaya here. <laughs> I'm waiting for my driver. My driver is in the restroom. So, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is our office. This is the lift lobby, and this will be the last few days that we are staying in this office. So beautiful here. Here comes my driver. That is my driver. <laughs> We just finished our lunch and we are heading to work to my car. My driver is in front of me. And we are going back to our office to continue our packing. Where's my driver? He bought uh, something for our dog. <laughs> <laughs> the name of our dog is Jenny. And then later you'll see me feed our dog. Right? Right, Joseph? So this is my Jenny and this is the food that we bought for her. <laughs> hi Jenny! Say hi to my vlog. This, this is for the vlog. What vlog is that? This is Jenny. Are you, I don't want to be on your Instagram. You don't it's not Instagram. Say hi. Hi! Wow. <laughs> She's my fairy godmother. Fairy godmother. <laughs> I grew up with her, she took care of me when I was little, and now she followed me here in Singapore. She's from China. Eat now, eat. I'm eating this, my rice This is very special, eh? <laughs> one is for her, right? Yes, it's yeah, for you. Yeah, she said uh, um, one is for you, you're gonna come and eat with uh, me. You eat that. She made this for you. Oh. Because you purchased the packing tape. This is the most uh, pretty lad in the office. See? Look at her dress. Color blue. Look at her arms. Hey! Burly. You have a lead! It's so sorry. Bye! Ask Joseph tomorrow. Bye bye. There's still much of things to do.
more things to pack. Office hours is finally over and we are here right now at the People's Park Complex in Chinatown. I'm with Nico and uh, my office is just like uh, five, six, seven stops away from here via bus. With MRT it will take me like uh, four MRT stops with... Uh, I need to change lines so basically it's not that easy, it's not that convenient. And uh, the Destination Inc, the event that we are attending to tonight is located here at People's uh, Park Center or People's People Park Complex, People's Park Complex, I'm not really sure. So basically while we are looking for the location, we ended up being here which is a very beautiful rooftop. You can see this amazing facade of a building and uh, we took some photos for my Instagram account so you can check out that or you might follow me so I'll give you the link here or here I'm not so sure so the show will start at 8 p.m. and it's already 7 30 p.m. so maybe we will just uh, go down grab some quick dinner before we will proceed to that event and I hope the event is uh, fun I hope we'll meet a lot of people or maybe we might be inspired we don't know. Let's see later. So we cannot find any restaurants around the area that have some vacancy. So we just decided to uh, buy some pao. This is from Chong Baru Pao. This is uh, one of the famous pao in, pao's in Singapore. I always buy this. And I'm so glad that I found one shop here in Chinatown. I never knew it exists. But yeah, there is one here. So I'm eating the pao. someone else who's born without fitting into that boxed-in notion of perfection. Last week, my nine-month-old kitten, who has always been a cuddler but is currently experimenting with adolescent rebellion and discovering her innate hunting instincts, was interrupted in her battle with her brother over a McDonald's chicken wing, covertly smuggled into our home by my husband as a midnight snack, and responded with a sheer fury I have never seen in her before. She almost blinded me. If she had struck half an inch closer, my eyes, which were full of blood by the time my husband got her off of me, would never have seen again. So fully, completely, comfortably resigned to the mercy of merciless impulses raving and racing across the universe of your brain cells. Come on, I'm, I won't tell anyone. Ah yes, denial. Denial is what I see when I look into the eyes of a decorated war hero. Your war is not over. Your battlefield is raging. Your body has just tripped on a landmine and for a while the time stops. No screams. The silence is sterile. Until the thunderous applause plucks you out onto a floodlit stage. Isn't that what you wanted? How many times have you said you're fine? Has anyone caught your line rushing to change at the next station for the subtle line of your mind frantically elbowing your way to the exit before the doors close shut? Because you know the circle line isn't really a circle, not until 2025 anyway. <laughs> your opinion matters, your judgment is prime, you fold your thoughts and put them neatly into a drawer as you've been taught. You're wondering if this part true. Hiding a girl was very hard, wasn't get closer than they start to move away. Yeah. 
The acceptance letter on the kitchen table told us that it was a half scholarship for students of color. It was the first time I realized I had a color and the last time I would feel embarrassed by it. Two, our orientation was a lie because they got all the freshmen from other countries and all the freshmen from the inner cities to arrive three days before everyone else. So we would assume that the school was full of people like us. <laughs> Number three, the first night I partied before an exam, I learned that where I was from is a really small place on a world map and really hard to explain how to find at 3 a.m. to a cute 20-something drunk girl from Tennessee who had never seen the ocean or been on a plane before. You don't have to look at So this is where um, the song ends. <laughs> So we just finished uh, watching Destination Inn and it lasted, lasted for about three hours and now we are on our way to uh, Basta because we are taking the bus going to Chochukang where we are staying and uh, maybe I'll tell you later what, what happened and what our thoughts about what we've watched. So yes! Ano yung gusto mong kainin? Dintay. May pera ka? Mayroon. Thank you. We just alighted the bus. We are here now at Chua Chukang. And our condominium is just opposite this uh, interchange. I would just like to show you guys how beautiful this interchange is. This just newly opened last month, I guess, or last holiday season, and it's really, really beautiful. I think this is the most beautiful interchange in Singapore, though I haven't visited uh, every interchange in Singapore, but this one is really cool. I mean, it's really modern, you can, as you can see. Finally, it's almost midnight and we are so tired. I hope we can reach our place as soon as we can so that we can catch sleep. That's it. It's so beautiful. There's power outlets here. There are some paintings. Hello. 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 And we are finally home. It's been a long day and I hope you've uh, enjoyed being with me for a full day. I'm seriously not still not used to vlogging of vlogging. <laughs> But yes, as you've already watched, uh, we went to Destination Inc's um, The Reunion and it's actually my first time to attend such event and I had fun. I mean, it's a great event. I got a chance to meet a lot of people from different cultures, different nationalities and uh, the event is actually a very good platform for these people or for everyone to, you know, express themselves through spoken word poetry, through music, through storytelling and uh, it's a good way for us and for them to uh, learn, get inspirations from these people and um, continue to inspire. Did I just say inspire for like three, four, maybe two times? Okay. Anyways, Destination X happens every month. So most probably next month we will attend the event again and hopefully together with uh, with our friends so that we can share the fun.
And uh, yes, that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. See you again next time and goodbye.